A differential drive allows me to control how my robot moves around. To set up a differential drive, I need to know several things. The wheel diameter, the track width, which one is the left and which one's the right motor, and if the motors are driving forward or in reverse. To find the wheel diameter, I could take a ruler and just measure the distance across the wheel, its diameter, or, helpfully, LEGO has it written across on every wheel. The first number is the diameter in millimeters, and the second number is the width of the wheel in millimeters, which we don't need to know. The diameter of this wheel is 56 millimeters. The next thing I need to know is the track width, or the wheel base. This is the diameter of the circle made by the robot if it spins in place. And we can measure this from measuring from the center of one wheel to the center of the other wheel. Only it's hard to measure exactly from center to center. And it's the same thing if you shift it over slightly and measure from the left side of the left wheel to the left side of the right wheel. Or any point to that same point on the other wheel. And measuring here this looks to be about mm, 9.4 centimeters. Now to figure out which motor is which, uh, look at the robot from behind, as though you were the robot. You know, as though you're trying to figure out which hand was your left and your right. And find the left motor and trace the cable back. This one's on port C. Find the right motor and trace the cable back. This one's on port A. Make sure to set that up right, or your robot will spin when you want to go drive straight, or not go at all. And lastly, you need to know if the motors drive forward or in reverse. A great many models have it such that the motors drive forward and the robot drives forward. But if you look at the arrangement here, this one drives in reverse to drive forward. The motors go backward to make the robot go forward. And the rule of thumb is, set it up one way, tell the robot to drive forward, and if it doesn't, set it up the other way, and you've got it figured out. That's how you quickly set up the differential drive.